My life was brilliant. When you see the, the, the place where the injury has occurred, it makes it that much more personal. If there wasn't a London's Air Ambulance, she wouldn't be here. You know, there were a lot of police around. Domestic violence was involved. I knew he hurt me badly. I remember bits and pieces. After a while, it all comes back. It horrendously visceral and a lot of panic around. There were children still in the house. Really, I should be dead and I should be blind. But incredibly, I'm not. I could never have imagined that she would be how she is today. He ran up to me. He came from my left side. At first, I thought it was a punch. I didn't realize he stabbed me. He said to me, if I can't have you, nobody can. He let go of me, and then I just got up and ran, but then I collapsed straight away. The next thing I know, I was on the floor, and I was shivering. I couldn't breathe at all. I can't remember what happened after that. With her being congenitally deaf, suddenly this other element, the communication difficulties, the very basics of eye-to-eye -eye contact, um, she was able to convey to me that she was still terrified and obviously concerned over her children. I got stabbed 25 times altogether, or 24 times, I can't really remember. It was 17 times in the neck. The worst injury she had, which was obviously devastating, was the carotid injury, which could have easily killed her. I woke up from the coma and said, what's happened? Mum had to explain to me that my left leg and my arm wasn't moving. My world had just been broken in half. They started to reduce the medication to get her out of the induced coma. And then she did this sign, which means, I love you. It was the first bit of communication that she did, and we were absolutely gobsmacked. I think about what happened, and I think about how they saved me that night. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here, and that's a fact. If there wasn't a London's Air Ambulance, she wouldn't be here. The doctor who was there that night, he played the main part. That's why I got a tattoo of the London's Air Ambulance logo. It means a lot to me. For the sign language requires two hands, and she's only got one, so she's had to convert a lot of what she does to American sign language because it's one-handed. Just incredible. We're very proud of her, very proud of her. I've got a different perspective on life now as well. I appreciate things more. I have a completely different attitude now. I could never have imagined that she would be how she is today. And so positive as well. I won, and he lost. I don't know what that kind of thing does to someone's ability to trust another human being, but yeah, there she is. Incredible, right?